The Radio Waymo Breakfast. Get smart. App reviews to win friends and impress people. Yes, smart app reviews that is for smartphones. Hello, uh, Tom and Alistair. Hello again. G'day, mate. Nice to see you. Right, so um, Alistair's got an Android phone, um, an HTC. Tom, you've got an iPhone slash iPod Touch and I've got a Nokia 5230 based on the Symbian mobile platform. One app from each, please, Alistair. Cool. All right. Uh, my app is called Sweet Dreams. Um, Sweet Dreams was actually a winner of a Google um, Android Developers Challenge, um, where everyone, you know, they say, make us an awesome app and you'll win yeah. a couple hundred grand. So nice. these guys won it, so it's a pretty sweet app. Uh, basically, what it is, um, it runs in the background um, all the time, yep. and then uh, every 15 minutes it will check certain settings which are on the phone, and if the phone, you know, if it fits any of these, it will turn the ringer of the phone off. So basically when you go to sleep at night time, yep. got, I've got it set here for 20 to 11, uh, turn off and 20 past 7 turn on. It'll turn off, silence any of the ringers or calendar appointments or anything like that um, so that you don't get woken up in the middle of the night. Obviously it wouldn't be very good if you were uh, someone on call, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but fortunately um, I'm, I'm not needed to be on call much. Um, but you can also set it to disable Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth, all of those settings, so it doesn't cost you money or whatever if apps app. In case um, you leave it on overnight. Yeah, in case you yeah, leave it on. It's a great idea. But you can also set it to um, only activate when you're in a certain location. So I've got it set to within a one kilometre radius of my house. So if I'm around that area and it's between those certain times, yeah, the phone will automatically turn the ringer off, put the brightness down, and effectively go to sleep. I mean, it still can still function. Um, which is handy because if you're out in town or whatever and it's in the middle of the night and you still want you still want your phone to be working. Yeah. Um, you can also set it to um, activate on motion. So if you pick your phone up, it'll go back on. That's cool. Yeah. And um, wow. also it can be sound activated. So if you start talking, yeah. uh, then it'll turn on as well. It'll, it'll hear your voice. It'll hear your voice. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can set a threshold and um, it'll hear your voice and go back to normal so you, settings. So you're going to wake up. Wake exactly. Up, wake up. Wait, well, wake up. <laughs> and you set a wake up alarm through it too? Um, yeah, well, basically, I've, I've got it set, you know, um, half an hour before my alarm would normally go off. Yep. So it just flicks back on to normal settings and okay. then um, it's just fun as per usual. Could you sync your alarm through it though? So it all kind of all um, function? I'm not sure. You probably could, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll say yes. Okay. <laughs> um, and this is free. Um, That's you get, amazing. You get it from the uh, Android marketplace. Great. And Clever guys. Yeah. Well, talking about free, um, the app I've got today on the Nokia uh, is something called Sports Tracker. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I decided that I would go for a run, um, which yep. hasn't happened for, <laughs> well, I can't remember the last time that, <laughs> that, that happened. And I was aware that there are certain apps out there um, that will track your, track your run. Um, and uh, you know, via GPS and, and yep. show you where you've gone, how fast you've gone, that kind of thing. So I was yep. looking for a, a Nokia solution to this, to that. And Nokia have come up with their very own, very own app. Um, it's a very simple application. Uh, you go in there, um, you load it up, and um, you select the type of workout that you're doing, whether it be cycling, running, yep. or whatever. Yep. Um, for me, it's it's running. Um, you basically, it's sim- simple as setting it, um, setting it to. Um, go as soon as you leave the house, yeah, and, um, and it just records where it you've just been. records where you've been, and and absolutely main. So I went around the block, yeah. So you take it with you then, yeah. Take, and it, yeah. It'll give yeah. you time and sort of how long it takes you to run there, yeah. Is it? And and your average time, speed. average speed, yeah. um, and can you upload? Can you upload that to the, um, well, the internet? Yeah, well, that's that's, that's a great thing. So Nokia Sports Tracker has a um, has a website, yeah. um, and so you can set it to automatically upload your workout when you finish, or you or you yeah. can do it uh, manually. You can set it to either being public or private. Yeah. It mm-hmm. will um, on the website. It will come up with the map. Yeah. Um, and so then, you can see where you've run. Yeah, and it'll show the high points um, where you've gone. Oh, elevation. Where, and where, yeah, stuff. elevation, yeah. and also where you've gone your fastest, where you've gone your slowest. That's cool. It also interact with the music player on the phone as well, so <laughs> it'll tell you what music you were listening to oh, wow. on what particular part of the mood and stuff. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if you're feeling amped um, to some crazy hard house, if or you had, it'll <laughs> <laughs> or if you had your um, if you had your phone on shuffle and then yeah, and you you remember you're running past the sky tower, or whatever. You're like, what was that song? The great yeah. thing, the, yeah, exactly. And the great, the great thing about this is that I, um, it's also a motivator. Yeah, it kind of makes you want to go out and better your last run. Yeah, yeah. because you can out. you can visually see how far you've run, how long it took you. It's perfect for training programs too. If you're doing a half marathon or a marathon, you can you know you can where you need to improve. Yeah, 
I'm not quite ready to make my runs public just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Set to private. Then. Give just it away um, uh, I, I, my last run was 2.94 kilometres, and it took me 15. Yeah. Uh, minutes, That's which is probably uh, I know, five I, k's a mile. If I had a met, uh, an application similar to that, I would five just have it there, and I would never use it <laughs> <laughs> because I would actually have to go running. <laughs> it can um, also, if you've got the uh, device, the plug in to your Nokia phone, it will also monitor your heart. That's wow. cool. That's really as good, well. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, I don't quite have that device. But it did reckon that I I burnt two hundred eleven point eight um, kilocals, whatever that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what. No, well, Probably a chocolate fat. Bar. It's, it's, yeah. it's probably fat that I can't afford to lose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that nice. is, is Nokia Sports Tracker, and it's free as well. Cool. Tom, what do you got? Got another free application. I've got another free one, my way. Um, I've got Cheap Flight, which is great if you're uh, like me and keen to grab a, a bargain flight around New Zealand or neighbouring countries. This is on the iPhone, iPod it's, Touch? Precisely, yeah. It's called. Uh, so if you go to the App Store and t- type in Cheap Flight, um, or even Grab a Seat, um, and New Zealand's w- uh, website, Gravity. It's not run. The, this app isn't run by New Zealand. It's a separate, independent one. So it does the. It has your daily uh, Gravity deals, which you can scroll down, uh, click on that, and tell you the dates. It'll tell you the, the price, and also this thing I really like here. If you press the button in the top right-hand corner, you can view that in your browser. So it will take you to the Air New Zealand website, yep. and you can purchase it. You can share the information on Twitter with your friends, or send it an email. So it's it's really good for kind of letting your mates know about those bargain flights and also just grabbing them before they go yeah. if you're out and about so you're not in front of a computer mm-hmm. um, also what it does it has specific blue d- deals as well so uh, saves you have to go to two websites and check yeah. them daily it's just all in one application and again do the same thing with that you can go to the website right. buy the tickets and you're away very handy. great very handy yeah, indeed yeah, those uh, cheap flights get snapped up pretty quickly they so do. you want to yeah 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 be able to get there quick. and if you're say you're, you're out and about because sometimes they say check back later, check back this this afternoon. You know, you might be out of the office. I want to get those tickets. You know, yeah. um, so that's that's great. So um, that one's called that's called Cheap Flight, um, Flight F L I T E. Cheap Flight, and yeah. it's available on the iTunes App Store. As Another well. free app as well. Oh, it's been a it's been a freebie edition episode yeah. two of um, of Get Smart. Thanks, Alistair and Tom. Cheers, Cheers. Mama.